Hey y'all, it's your girl Simone and welcome back to my channel. If y'all can see by the title, today is another story time. So before we get into this video, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give your girl a thumbs up. Comment down. Give your girl the thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Instagram, Viva Layoshi, TikTok, and Twitter at Life with Simone. And follow my business page at Brashari and my, I'm sorry, my thumbnail. What is it called? Snapchat at the real H, the real underscore HM. But y'all, let's get into this video i was just thinking about this video when i was on my um way back home and i was like oh i gotta tell this story because i had mentioned this before like in a story time or whatever but i never told y'all story times about this job and this workplace was toxic the whole fucking four weeks of training insane oh yeah before i get to the story i just want to say this y'all i do want to do another event because it's about to be a year since i did my brunch and that was oh beautiful i loved it so i'm planning on doing another event you guys it's gonna be more at the night time a little bit more lit but um if y'all be down in the come let me know it's gonna be either in june or july i'll give y'all more details coming soon and it'll be bigger so more people come but anyway let's get to this so yeah um yeah working at this place this i'm not gonna start from the beginning because i just this one specific day well moment was on my head so i'm like let's talk about this so anyway y'all i was working at this call center one of many that i worked at i'm in the training process so the training process is four weeks we in a classroom it's a lot of us up in there it was like bad girls club when i tell you people was getting eliminated left and right each week it was crazy it was always some drama somebody fighting somebody about to fight it was some sh all the time drama with it. it was a lot of stuff so the majority of the class was was women and it was like a little bit of men here and there but majority is women so you know it's just so much energy and and with a whole bunch of girls together it's gonna be drama so anyway let's fast forward to this day is this girl that used to be in a classroom we probably in our we in our second week in right it's this girl that's in the classroom and she always be looking at me crazy like she don't really be i peep her but then when i look at her she'll like look away or like crack a little fake smile like mm -hmm. you know how people do so i was always thinking like am i tripping because sometimes i be peeping stuff a lot like y'all when i'm sitting back being quiet and people think like dang girl you quiet and i'm like mm -hmm. i just make mental notes in my head i be peeping a lot of stuff so I'm thinking I'm tripping. And around this time, this one I used to have beef with a lot of people. Mind you, the girl looked so familiar to me, but I couldn't put my finger on where I knew her from. And it was crazy because I kind of thought where I knew her from somewhere, but then I'm like, nah, I don't. Because one day it was this girl that was in a whole different training class. They was cool, and I knew that girl. And I knew the other girl through Joe. So I'm like, oh, maybe I know her through them, but I was like, nah, I don't. So anyway. Our training was divided up, y'all. So the people I hung out with, that was my like my our little crew. We had beef with this other crew. It was like, okay, everybody don't really matter, but it was like two main groups, right? So the group I used to hang out with, and then the other group, that was our ops. I'm not gonna name them as a group, but I'm gonna just say our ops. That was the other side. And then other people that just like didn't really hang out in the big groups, they just hang out with their one friend or two friends or whatever like that. But everybody was pretty much like mutual and stuff like that. But a lot of people really didn't mess with that other group, right? So the girl that I thought looked familiar, that was kind of weird, to me she was in that group we just gonna call her judy so judy was in that she used to hang out with that crew or whatever so already it was kind of like dang maybe that's why she kind of looked at me crazy but from day one she did y'all we had a um on the first day you know how they do like the break the ice little games and you gotta go to people and people sign off on what they got like who got three kids who's a play baseball like who's a aries you know they sign off and i remember because i thought she looked familiar i'm like maybe let me go say something to her maybe she would like be like so i know you or something like that so i went up to her and i'm like um do you got anything on the list i'll sign off yours and she was just like that one and i was like oh okay you ride a bike before okay sign mine i'm gonna sign yours and she was like mm. and just weird about it so then after that so i didn't talk to her so i'm like it ain't because we hang out with the opposite size because that's it really kind of like i don't know it was weird but i'm like it can't be that because she was weird on the first day so anyway i'm in class or whatever and a lot of stuff that used to happen used to happen in real time and around this time this is when like the whole summer love affair thing was going on and like crazy was in jail or whatever it was just a lot going on so i remember this specific day i was sitting up and i was telling him about remember when summer love affair when i told y'all about how he had left me at like that hood house or whatever while they went to go hit a, a lick or whatever so <clears throat> 
I'm telling my coworkers this. Mind you, only other person I knew about this was like my friends, my like immediate friends or whatever like that. So I'm telling them about this, y'all. Like, y'all, oh my God, so last night, da da da, or not last night, whatever the night it was. I'm like telling them like, yeah, he, the boy I talked to, y'all, this, that, and the third. I'm telling them like how he went and they went and did this, that, and the third. So they like, oh my God. So we used to just gossip and stuff like that. And it was kind of loud, but the classroom wasn't that big. And the people that we didn't fuck with, they kind of was like literally on the other side. So I'm talking or whatever. I'm telling them, man, I'm not thinking nothing of it. I go home, right? So around this time, me and Joe was not enemies. We was not beefing, but we wasn't together. We wasn't pretending to be together. We wasn't flirting. It was none of that. But at this time, Joe was in jail too. And I used to kind of be just mutual and answer the phone and like be nice and stuff like that. Just being a friend because we didn't have issues. We used to just laugh kiki over the phone. It was nothing like that. He didn't try to get with me. I wasn't trying to be with him. I had my own situations going on. So yeah, Joe ended up calling me, mind you. Joe would always call me and say like little stuff and I would kind of wonder like hey, do he got somebody watching my Instagram who's reporting this shit back to him mind you at this time I knew he was talking to this girl that he had left me for which <laughs> what I gotta tell y'all that story because yeah anyway I knew he was talking to her or whatever but I'm like I know this girl's not reporting shit back to him because I don't even know what this girl looked like how the fuck she would she know who I, what I look like? But it was just weird how he would know little stuff. So when we on the phone this day, he was like, that's so crazy. You know what's crazy? So I'm like, what's crazy? He was like, that you be over here. You just changed, Simone. Like, you really changed. I just can't believe how you changed. But mind you, he you call me kind of like pressing and be mad about shit that I do. How you mad about shit that I do and we not together? And we not even pretending to be together. Like, boy, worry about you. So he like, yeah, you changed a lot. You changed. So I'm like, how did I change? He like, because I just be hearing about you and you just changed. You different. You a different, Simone. That's crazy. I just knew that was going to happen. That's why I had to pick and choose who I was going to be with. Wait, just saying stupid little shit like that so i'm like mm, whatever like i'm gonna hang up because what is you talking about so i'm like so he like nah don't get mad i'm just saying he was like it's crazy he's like you fuck with the bloods now and you be at trap houses and be playing getaway cars while niggas while ninjas go hit you know licks and stuff so i'm like what and at this point i'm thinking i'm like he knows somebody that i work with because ain't no way you coming to me today. I think that situation probably happened like two days prior or something like that. And I'm like, none of my immediate friends is telling him this. And I'm not putting it on Instagram. Oh my God, I'm at the trap. Where is that? Like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not putting it on Instagram. Like, oh my God, he left me at the trap, y'all. LOL, LOL, LOL. Like, I'm not doing that. So how, what a coincidence that I was talking about it today. So I'm thinking like, oh, somebody in my group is a ah. Because what you reporting back to my ex nigga for? Like, uh-uh, 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 what's going on? So I'm thinking like, who the fuck is a snake in the group? It's a snake in the garden and I'm going to cut the grass. So I'm like, you know somebody that work at such and such and I set the job. So he like, yeah, he was all like, you know I know somebody that work there. Mind you, he talking about the girl. So remember the, the story time when I was like, we went to the baby shower at the girl house the and it was the homegirl? Yeah, so her sister worked there. So he like, you know I know somebody that worked there. Because she used to always be like, how he doing? And stuff like that. So I'm like, I'm not talking about her. Because she's not even in my, my training class. Too. I'm talking about, you know, I'm not talking about her. Because, yeah, it can't be her. So I'm like, no, nah, you know somebody else that worked there? So he was like, yeah, I do. Why you ask? I was like, because clearly whoever you know that worked there is reporting shit back to you. And that's weird. Because why are you reporting shit back to him as if this my man? And even if... What, what's like this is weird so he was like man Simone like nah it ain't even like that like don't think she just be sitting up talking about you because she don't like it just conversation come up and she just mentioned something to me so I'm like who is she like who is she so he was like man Simone like nah because you're gonna try to go back to work being messy and doing the most he was like and that's not my girl and don't be trying to ruin stuff for her boyfriend because she already told me about that situation and da 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 so I said what who it who are you talking about because what did you talk? I ruined. I tried to fuck up situation with her, man. Like, I'm confused at this point. I'm so confused. So I'm like, what did you talk about? So he like, man, you know who I'm talking about. Like, Simone, don't play dumb. Like, you know who I'm talking about. So I'm like, I don't know who you're talking about. So he was like, I'm talking about Judy. So I said, Judy. At first, I don't know why it just like slipped my mind when he said her name. I'm like, Judy. And he was like, Judy. So then I thought about it, like, wait, that girl in my training class name is Judy. So I'm like, Judy? And he was like, yes, Judy, you know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Judy. So I'm like, I don't know her. So why is she reporting shit back to you about me? And he was like, Simone, you do know her. I'm like, I don't know her. He was like, she already told me like the whole little situation, but I ain't even going to speak on that. He was like, but yeah, don't even be messy. I'm just trying to, I'm worried about you because you're doing weird stuff. And I said, first of all, she repeating stuff to you and she's getting it wrong because I never said, clearly she has to be ear hustling because I never said that I was a getaway nothing. 
never said that. But I'm like, clearly, if she's overhearing, she's probably she probably heard. Hit the lick, stayed at the house, and she probably just put twenties on ten and said, "Oh, she was a getaway driver." How was I at the house and the driver? Mrs. Officer, please get your timestamps right, cause you ain't making sense. So anyway, I'm like, and then my thing is, this is weird too. Why is you repeating this shit over the jail phone? You weird ass bitch. So I'm like, I'm not like they gonna be like, find us that Simone character. She's going down. But either way, go was still weird though. So I'm like, um. Well, why the fuck is she mentioning me? Like, that's weird as hell. I don't know her. I'm like, I just literally, I guess I would say met her at class, but we don't talk. I don't know this girl, whatever like that. He was like, man, you already know. I'm like, and who is her boyfriend? So I'm thinking like, is her boyfriend one of the dudes in the training class? Because I'm kind of cool with everybody. And it used to be this one boy who used to be like kind of going around like talking to everybody like all friendly and stuff. So I'm thinking like, oh, maybe that's her man. And I don't know the fuck is she talking about but me and him never was talking he literally come around hug everybody be laughing kiki and everybody face so i'm thinking like oh that must be her man or something and she don't like that i'll be smiling when he said joke i don't know so i'm like who's her man so he was like you know her man her man is and okay <laughs> this is how small this world is so remember the story time can y'all tell me because i can't remember i was trying to look for it so i could get his then what i named him but i couldn't remember remember the story time when i told y'all when i was in middle school and a girl had me messed up and i ripped her pages out her diary because she was trying to talk to my man my man my man yeah so the boy whatever i named him or what i named the story time if y'all remember can y'all let me know because i could not find it for none in the world i'm like what the fuck did i name that story time but anyway she was talking about him mind you let me just do a quick little quick little because that's a whole different story time too so me and him dated and talked in middle school right probably like ninth grade we still communicated a little bit that was it my whole high school i didn't talk to this boy and later in life when i started hanging out with dirk and von of them i had knew von already dirk i didn't know him i had just met his brother his brother was never around i don't know where he was at plus he was older than us, so i guess so i had asked von like oh whatever happened to such and such and he was like oh Da, da 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 Mind you, I had not talked to him or whatever. So eventually, fast forward, when I wasn't hanging out with Dirk and Von and him no more, what's it called? Um, oh boy had ended up getting out of jail and he was checking for me, mind you. So long story short, I had not talked to this man since ninth grade. And then later in life, he ended up getting out of jail, checking for me. We ended up start hanging out with him and all this stuff like that all the time, me and Tanya. But yeah, that's a whole nother story. So when he said that, when he was like, oh, that's his girlfriend. Mind you, oh boy had no type of social media. And at this time he's back in jail. He had no type of social media ever. So when he said that, I thought about him like, that's where that girl looked familiar from. Because when we used to hang out over there, sometimes she would pull up and bring him food or she would pull up and I don't know, just she literally would pull up, probably go in the house and pee, count the fucking squares on the toilet tissue. I don't know. Cause she would pull up, be there for like two seconds and leave. So I'm like, oh, I did see this girl before, but I don't know her. So I'm like, mind you, when she would pull up, I had no idea, <laughs> no idea that this, this was this boy's girlfriend. Cause he would sometimes speak to her when she come and sometimes he would he'd be like, I'll be back real quick. And we would be over there with him chilling till like three, four in the morning at times. And I never knew, like, he never said this was his girlfriend, never nothing. So I'm like, oh, I just thought she was part of their family or something. Not gonna lie, they kind of looked alike. So, yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, that's where I remember seeing her face from. But I'm like, yeah, it's kind of slipped my mind. Oh, that's where I know her from. So I'm like, okay, wait. So where do I come in at this? Like, I'm com I'm confused at how she know that I know you and where do I come in at? So he was like, oh, because when you had ran into such and such, remember I told you I had seen them together when I was talking to the other girl. She was like, and she told her like, oh, that's Joe's ex. So I'm like, okay, well, why my name come up in y'all conversation? Like, this is so weird. And I'm like, and how did I try to do weird shit with her boyfriend? Like, I didn't even know that was her boyfriend. What the fuck is you talking about? So while he's talking to me on the phone, I'm going through, oh, girl, the other girl Instagram to find Judy. Because I'm like, I got to see this for myself. This shit ain't adding up. So I'm going to find her Instagram, y'all. I see she got pictures with her and with old boy on her page. Not even pictures of them together. Like, you know when you walking away and your homegirl take a blurry ass off guard just so people could notice you know this nigga in real life? Yeah, it was pictures like that. And she's like, free my man, free my man. Or pictures of him sleep. All these blurry ass off guard photos that this man don't even know is being taken of him. Yeah. And I, the reason why I'm saying that is because we're going to get there. So anyway, so I was like, oh, this is her boyfriend. That's crazy. Like, I didn't know that. Mind you, at this point, I ain't talked to him in like a year because he went to jail. And... He doesn't have my number to call me. And even if he did, like, we ain't got shit to talk about. So I'm like, so what is she talking about? And he was like, yeah, she told me, like, it was an incident one time when you was over there with your little homegirl or whatever like that. And he started describing Tanya. And I was, he was like, and, um, 
y'all was doing the most and she had to press y'all and let her know like oh y'all can't be coming over here hanging out with my my dude no more and he was like oh no i don't fuck with them i don't fuck with these bitches and da 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 these bitches just a homegirl something like that and it was a big thing and y'all was sitting there looking stuck and she was just like oh, okay i said wait so i'm like when this happened because hmm? we wasn't i i don't smoke and we wasn't drinking so when did this happen to where i don't remember was i asleep because i don't i don't recall so i'm like this never happened so he like yeah well that's what she said she said it happened and i'm just like no that's weird as fuck so i'm like again how do i come up like why why is my name being brought up and why is she repeating shit back to you that i'm saying because clearly this is why you've been saying a lot of little weird shit so he like she would not just be sit up talking about you. I just asked her, like, how you doing and stuff like that. How you asking somebody how am I doing when you call me, like, probably every other day or sometimes every day? So why are you asking her how am I doing when you talk to me? Like, it's not making sense. She's bringing me up. So he was like, I don't fuck with her. It's not like that. Like, I don't fuck with her. That's just a homegirl. You know, she really just look out for me. She's just real cool. So don't go trying to be be weird and messy and kind of ruin that for me. Da, 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 da. Just saying all this bullshit. So I'm like, oh, you're weird. We just had a whole discussion. And I was just like, basically, I was like, okay, I'm not going to say nothing. Y'all, which I don't know why I kind of was just like, oh, I'm not going to say nothing, whatever. But if it gets to that, I'm going to address the issue because you're weird. Like, you know, I don't want to hear nothing else about me. So anyway, the next day we go to work, right? So we in a training class and I used to be annoying as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. So they used to like for me to read. The whole class liked for me to read except for the ops. We used to have to read out loud like the modules and stuff like that. And they would like for me to read because when I read out loud, I will put on different voices. Like sometimes I'll put on an accent, a country accent or whatever. Or I'll put on like different voices. So people would be like, Simone, read, read, read. Like the whole class. Y'all, not even just my group. Literally everybody except the ops. So... Um, <laughs> when they was like, who want to read? So I was like, small read, read small. I like when you do the voices. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to read y'all. Not me being a class clown as an adult. Okay, anyway, so I'm like, I'm going to read. But even the trainers, they thought it was so funny. So I'm over here reading in my little voices and stuff like that. Mind you, every time I would do it, the ops would be irritated. They'd be over there like, <sighs> they'd be so fucking annoyed, right? So I'm reading and... When I was um, done, I stopped. I was like, so should I stop right here or somebody else going to pick up? So this one girl was like, I want to read, I want to read. So I was like, okay, I'm looking over towards her where she's sitting at. Judy is sitting in front of her. So I'm looking past Judy at her. So when I look over there, I see Judy like, like to her, turn to her homegirl and did like a little like, like irritated look. So I was like, Judy, you good? Because mind you, at this point, now since I, like I ain't spoke to Judy since that first day when she did that weird shit. But now I'm going to speak to you because, oh, we have an issue, Judy. So I was like, Judy, you good? So why when I said, Judy, you good, it was the girl she was sitting next to. She's really the whole problematic one. I swear, that whole group literally followed her like puppies. Like, she used to try to be on some bully shit, bitch. We were grown as fuck just trying to learn how to do this damn job that nobody did correctly when we got on the flow. So, girl, chill. So we just going to give her a name because she play a big factor, too. So let's just name her Johnisha. So, Janisha, when I said, Judy, you good? Janisha was like, she's good, Simone. She's good. So, my friend, one of my people in my group, she hated. They really had the most beef. My girl, she like, we gonna name her Nini. So, Nini like, nobody was talking to you, Janisha. She was talking to Judy. Judy, are you good? <laughs> so, Judy didn't say nothing, right? When I first asked Judy if she was good, she didn't say nothing. You gotta, Judy was the type of person that gotta wait for her friend to like, she piggyback off other people. So, after her friend did a lot of that. And I was like, yeah, Judy, you good? I'm like, because I see you huffing and puffing and stuff. Like, is, is, are you good? Everything cool. Like, what's up? So the next thing you know, Judy was like, I'm good. I'm good. Can we just do the next reader? Can we can we do the next reader? But laughing like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> let me laugh before I, <laughs> girl, what's, hello, Judy, are you good? So anyway, she like um, doing all of that or whatever. So, next thing you know, trainer, he like, all right, let's just go, let's just go. He was like, Simone, you gonna finish or such and such? Like, the girl's like, yeah, so do you want me to finish this paragraph or do you want to pick up here? She's like, I'm gonna pick up here. And then she started reading other voices, you know. She started doing that too because it was, like, funny. So, yeah, I'm just thinking to myself, like, this bitch Judy got me fucked up. And it's just weird because why is you, now that I know it's some type of beef, when you do those little huff and puff things, like, yeah, it's personal now. So, anyway, now it's lunchtime, right? So, we... After that whole little situation, when I tell you this, this shit was real messy and toxic. And, and yeah, we, we was a part of the problem at times too. So 
yeah <laughs> that other group the ops they went to go eat at this one spot we did not want to go eat here today because we went there yesterday tell me why because we knew they was going to eat there we just was like let's go over there but we waited a little while we got our food from other places we're like we're gonna go eat up in there because we wanted to just be messy and start some shit and that's just how it was at that job so anyway we go up in there they already probably up in there for a cool minute we go up in there or whatever like that and we being loud loud as Fuck. And we just like, yeah, da 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 da. Because they used to get under their skin to see us happy. I swear, they used to be some miserable ass bitches. They'd be so irritated over there eating their food. Like, <sighs> they'd be so mad. So we loud as fuck. It was this one boy, the one who I thought maybe that was her dude. And he used to be in everybody's face. He came over there. He was like, the tension in the room. He's so loud, mind you. We sitting at these little tables right here. And they at some like probably four down behind us but i'm making snaps and stuff like this and i'm just laughing and stuff but because in my snaps i could i'm zooming in afterwards and i could see judy and them looking mad as fuck behind us like girl you're mad for what so anyway he come up in there he being loud as fuck he like you the attention in the room be like you could cut it with a knife that should be crazy y'all teaching it be drama like i be thinking like girl fight is gonna happen any moment now da -da 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 -da. he just talking all the shit and we laughing so nini the girl that's my friend nini like but it, mind you it's probably like five of us in our little group i think it was like five or six of them in the group that judy was in so anyway so we laughing and the girl nini that i'm friends with she like nah it don't really be no smoke like that bitches really don't want no smoke for real they just be saying shit because they know that like the trainer's gonna stop them they don't really want smoke so we laugh i'm like how you bitches be doing about like we just all laugh at kiki and he just like i'm ready because y'all better make sure don't fight don't fight when i'm in the bathroom or i'm on a break y'all make sure y'all fight in front of me if y'all gonna meet because everybody used to meet at this one location to fight so on a lunch break so he's like y'all meet there y'all make sure to call me i want to be there for the fight so he just laughing or whatever so they start packing their stuff up and leaving when they walking out the girl on that side Janisha, she was like it ain't gonna be no fight because bitches is scary and i'm real life with the shit she used to love to say how she was real life with the shit she was from the project she got two kids she don't play that shit every day but it's funny because when she had her fight, it wasn't giving none of that hard talk she was doing. So she like, bitch, I, I, I do this in real life. Da, 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 da. What are you talking about fake life for, baby? We is in a training class. It's not like this is a virtual world and we come meet up once a week and everybody's acting like they ain't saying nothing online. This is very much real life. So she doing the most. So Nene was like, Johnny said, shut the fuck up, bitch, before I beat your ass. You lucky lunch over because I would have had you meet me at such and such. And she was like, bitch, ain't nobody da 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 da. Like, they getting into it or whatever. They just getting into it. So whole time they getting into it, because Judy's sitting there looking like, she just always had a just mad look on her face. She had rest and bitch face, for real. And I'm looking at her. Like, I'm just staring at Judy. Because, y'all, I said I wasn't going to say nothing. But I'm like this bitch is trying me look she well she kind of did try me but she was doing the same shit she did every day but it's just different now that i know you know so i'm like mm, i ain't gonna say nothing but i might just say something because i really wanted to say something about how i felt but we're gonna get there so anyway they not saying shit so they end up walking out or whatever like that they was arguing back and forth and the people was like hey you know like we'll go report because we know where y'all work at y'all all come down here and eat and stuff they was like yeah, y'all gotta go. So they end up leaving before us, right? We finish our food. We walk in. They was still like on the walking way back to the job because they stopped to smoke or whatever. So we walking up behind them. Mind you, when we walking up, like we about to hit the corner because they probably, they was like waited right here around the corner and we about to hit the corner. We hear them talking. I hear Judy. I hear Judy loud as fuck. Y'all, she like... And she be annoying as fuck when she be reading out loud and shit sounding stupid. So I was like, Judy, you got a problem? When we hit the corner, I was like, because I was like, we hear them talking. So we was kind of like, because we want to hear what they saying or whatever. So we wasn't saying shit. So when we walking around, I'm like, I'm gonna say something. like, you know, I'm like, okay. So we turn around, we hit that corner. I was like, Judy, you got a problem? So she didn't say nothing. This used to piss me off about her because it's like, bitch, why do you wait for somebody else to say something to let you know, like, it's good I got your back before you say something? So she didn't say nothing. So the girl, Janisha, was like, Simone, I'm not going, I'm not feeling all this trying to press Judy today because you got a little crowd. Today I got a crowd? I'm always with them. So she probably really thinking, like, it's random that I'm doing this. Well, it was random because it was probably like, Judy always huff and puff. You'll never say shit. But now you got, you acting weird. But it's like, I'm acting weird for a reason. I don't know. Joe must have didn't get back on the phone and tell her. Because he probably really was like, Simone said she ain't going to say nothing. So I ain't going to say nothing either. That I snitch. Because I'm a snitch bitch. So anyway, 
I was just like, I'm talking to Judy. And then he was like, bitch, she ain't even talking to you. She talking to Judy. So I was like, yeah, I'm talking to Judy or whatever. So um, Judy was like, that's not a problem. That shit is annoying when you be reading like that. It's like, just grow up. Just read correctly. It's not a problem. So I was like, okay. And I was like, everybody like it. So what's your problem? Like, if you don't like it, I was like, it must seem like you got personal beef with me. So she's like, personal beef with you? Why would I have personal beef with you? And I was like, oh, bitch, you know. <laughs> And then it was just like, the boys just like, hey, hey, come on, we gotta get back to work, we gotta get back to work. And there be a lot of police in that area, so we end up just walking past them. I'm like, oh, this bitch Judy's getting on my nerves. And we're walking back, I start telling them what happened. I'm like, yeah, so my ex, remember the ex I told y'all? Because I was one of the people that go to a job and overshare like fuck. Because I feel like, I don't know y'all, y'all don't know me, I go overshare. So I'm over here, remember you had my ex, Joe, that I was telling y'all about? Da -da -da -da. I'm telling her like, yeah, this bitch be talking back on the phone. Why I do that? Talking back, she be pillow talking on the phone with him. Da -da -da. I'm just saying all this, so... They like, oh, that's why you mad today. Because my friends was wondering too, like, why are you being so crazy with Judy today all of a sudden out the blue? And I'm like, yeah. Because at first I used to think like, am I tripping? Maybe she just doing all that because they don't like us. But now I'm like, it, yeah. So anyway, we go back to the, the training room, right? It's at the lunch. So we go back to the training room, right? We up in there. We did our little stuff. So he letting us have our little free time because we was in there for eight hours. And the trainers didn't really have shit else to do. The trainers used to be in drama too because the shit was just crazy. So yeah, so we they had us have our free time. We just talking. We all gossiping about shit. We used to always just all talk about our relationship problems, gossip about so much shit like that. So we talking and I'm purposely kind of saying some stuff because I want to see if it's going to be reported back. Because I'm like, if she if it's reported back, then now I'm really going to press, right? But at this point, my homegirl's talking and we like, I don't know. We was just talking about a whole bunch of stuff. And... Why the fuck Judy going when the, when the trainer guy, because mind you, like I said, they're not that far from us. When the trainer guy go over there, mind you, I'm sitting this way, facing Judy, and my friends is like this way. Some people facing that way, too. When he walked over there, he walked over by us and was just like, y'all good, da, da, da. We talking, we like, yeah, we good. He walked over there by Judy, and Judy was like, people be so fucking loud in here. Like, everybody don't need to know your conversation. If They just be so loud, but she loud saying this to him. Mind you, you want to hear my conversation because you want to have something to talk about with this nigga because your conversation clearly ain't doing it for him. So I'm just like, oh, this bitch want to be funny. I'm going to be funnier today. I really pulled out that red nose from my backpack, and I said, mm. I'm just getting out of it. But, yeah, I'm just thinking in my head like, mm. She want to be funny? I'm going to be funnier. Because why do you keep playing with me? Okay. So, yeah. So, she, we was talking. I don't know how my homegirl got on the subject. She was talking. You know when you're thinking in your head how you finna do some weird shit. But then somebody say something and you just catch one of the words. So, she said something about her homegirl going to jail. And I said, wait, your homegirl went to jail? Because I heard jail. And I said, oh, this is this is how I'm about to do my weird shit. So, she's like, yeah, man. She was supposed to work here with us. She was going to get hired. She got hired and all that. Because after we got hired, we started work a week later. She's like, she got hired and all that. She's like, you remember her from the interview? We had a group interview. So, we already kind of seen who's all going to work together. Beef started in that group interview. So, um... She was like, yeah, she, remember her? I was with her. She was like, but she had got arrested, free the home, girl. She didn't be free. So when she said that, the biggest smile crossed my face. I was like, oh. she was like, free the home, girl. Yeah, she didn't be free. So I was all like, you know who they need to free? They need to free. I know I got a few homies that need to be free. They need to free the homie. And I said, the one that's Judy's nigga's name. Not Joe, Judy. Because when I started saying that, Judy was kind of looking over, but she's still talking to the trainer, dude. But she started looking over, kind of like, who I'm going to say? Not Joe. <laughs> I'm going to say Joe nigga. <laughs> so I was like, they need to free the homie such and such. I was like, man, I miss my dog. So she was like, I really be sparing bitches. But she talking to him. She was like, I really be sparing bitches. And she said it loud. So I'm smiling like, fuck. I start pulling up a picture. I already had a screenshot of the picture like right there because I already was going to show them and tell them everything that happened. Like, oh, this is Judy's nigga. This is what Judy did. Da -da -da. She was talking to my ex. So yeah. Mind you, when he had came out of jail later in life and I came across his mind, he pulled up on me and we took a photo. He was very much staring at the picture. And even when we used to hang out, he used to be in my videos, which they all archived off Instagram. He used to be in my videos. We used to all take pictures and be laughing and joking and stuff like that. He was very much staring at the camera like he wanted to take the picture. And it's not like... He used to try to be, that's one thing too, why I didn't know, I didn't think he had a girlfriend. He used to try to talk to me, but I was like, I ain't trying to bring back no middle school shit. It just wasn't, it wasn't given. And I'll tell y'all when I talk about that. But yeah, I didn't have off guard pictures with her nigga like she had with her nigga. Mind you, I ain't talked to this man in like a year, but since you want to be funny, I'm going to be funny too. So it was just so funny to me. So I was like, y'all look, 
<laughs> posted it here because I don't think nobody will remember. That was so long ago, but I'm going to blur him. But anyway, I was like, y'all, look. Mind you, I told you I'm facing Judy. I was like, y'all, look. This me and him. I said, I ain't never had to take no off-guard picture with a nigga. I'm like, look, the homie was happy as hell. I said, he got out and came straight to thinking about me. Man, free him. So they laughing because they already know what it is. So Judy was like, bitches, that's weird. She was like, that bitch is weird. She's weird. She's like, I really be sparing bitches. I really be sparing bitches. It didn't take for her homegirl to say something. First, this time she was hot because I was being funny and I started laughing. I'm sitting in my swingy chair like, <laughs> I'm just laughing like, they did not free him. And I'm just saying it because I know she's talking to me, but she's talking to him, but she's looking at me. Whole time I'm talking to my friends, I'm looking at her. So we looking at each other. So she like, this bitch is where I really be sparing bitches. I really be sparing bitches. I've been sparing bitches for the longest. I've been sparing bitches for the longest. God could have been beat bitches up. So I said, Judy, who you could have been beat up? So she was like, you're weird. You mad about a nigga? You're mad about a ninja? She was like, you mad about Joe? You're mad about Joe? That's why you're really mad. You're really mad. She was like, you want to show old ass pictures? I said, why all your pictures with your nigga is off guards? Do he know? <laughs> I'm like, is he fully aware of he's being in these photos? I was like, that's crazy. So she was like, I really be spared. So he, the trainer, like, what's going on? Everybody's like, what's going on? Because mind you, like I said, me and Judy ain't never, it ain't never gave that. And I used to, I'm guilty by association with the ops. They don't like me because they follow behind this Janisha bitch. That ain't really her name. But they follow behind her and my friend Nene and her had big beef. So she don't like us. So it really was guilty by her association because I was cool with everybody else in the in the class. Like literally, I'm cool with everybody else except this one girl because she did not like me for whatever reason. But she used to be kind of cooler with them, but she didn't like really run with them. But yeah. So they probably, they looking like nice Simone? What's going on? Because it's like yeah like i don't know i had a lot of drama going on in my real life too so it was like i'm trying to come here and be peaceful and zen and you really trying me today you trying me because why did you you started with me uh, anyway so she was like i really she was like bitch da 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 you mad she was like he ain't never wanted you da 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 da, da. i said what the fuck i'm gonna do with a nigga that from middle school i was like ain't nobody worry about him i'm like he kind of chill and came looking for me da, 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 da. like i'm talking shit i was just laughing i'm like <laughs> and i was like yeah judy stop speaking on me she was like man she doing the most the trainer holding her back she doing the most so i'm like judy maybe you'll learn next time to keep my motherfucking name out your mouth you stupid bitch so she was like you weird as fuck da 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 da, da. you mad over joe i could take any nigga you want you see you thought you was gonna get oh boy from middle school because i can't remember the name what i named him you thought you was gonna get him back and bitch da, 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 i got him i took him i'll take joe because he wants me i said don't nobody give a fuck about joe free da, da, da. and i said free her nigga again so she was like oh she started trying to throw shit down like off her table girl them is yours that's your stuff she and she did all of that and she was and she stormed out the class like because when she started walking towards i stood up because i'm like oh what you want to do so she stormed out the class and i'm just laughing so the trainer was like simone and he, he left behind her so everybody was like what the fuck but mind you at this time when we getting into it Janisha starts saying shit like simone you're weird as fuck you're weird as fuck why you got pictures with her nigga on your phone mind you these are old photos and they harmless ass photos but it's just the fact that you was trying to be funny. That Why are you repeating shit? And then it just made sense to me. Um, because when she was like, oh, you need a crowd. I didn't think about it until later. That clearly you must have lied and told these people you pressed me too. Why are you lying? Like, why are you coming to this class lying? If you feel some type of way about me, you could have pulled me to the side and be like, hey. I used to see you used to always be chilling with my dude, with your homegirl. What, what was up a year ago? What was up? It was anything. You could have pulled me to the side and had a conversation. I would have let you know, girl, it was none of that. Like, literally. It literally was none of that at all. We used to be chilling with that nigga. Like, we was his annoying ass little sisters or something. Like, it literally was not giving that. But instead, you want to come here lying to everybody you pressed me. And then huff and puff when I'm reading in my 17 different languages. What's wrong with you? So, I'm just like, yeah. Oh, well, so the whole time when Johnny should try to say something and I was like, Johnny, I'm not even talking to you. And Nene was like, bitch, don't ever speak. To, don't say shit to her. That's my friend. Don't say shit to her. So they was getting into it. So they end up pulling Janisha out the class because she doing the most like, bitch, I am from the project. She used to always scream how she was from the project. I'm from the project, bitch. I got two kids. I don't play this y'all. Beat your ass. So Johnny should like, what's up? What's up? They, they beef stemmed from a long time ago. It was like somebody could drop a pin on one side and it would be like, if a bitch drop a pin again, they had beef that really was like, it took it there though. So anyway, they um, argue and they pulled her out. 
Judy left out the class. So I'm laughing. They like, what the fuck, Simone? What was that? Like, what the fuck is going on? So the boy that tried to be messy, he was like, so wait, Simone, you're dating Judy's man and y'all got caught up. I said, you is bringing up scenarios and making shit up. That is not what's going on. I'm like, that's not what's going on. It's none of that. I'm like, I just don't like people speaking on me and lying at that. So when I'm telling, uh, I'm talking or whatever, and he just listening, listening, because this one girl that was like just not on no side, but like mutual. She like, wait, what happened? I told her like, yeah, she be telling my ex and stuff like that. So the boy, he like, why do you care if it's just the ex? And you say he's in jail. Why do you care? I'm like, it's not that I care. Well, I do care. But I'm like, it's still just weird. Like, why are you speaking on me to him? Like, that's weird as fuck. I'm just like, yeah, because that's weird. I just feel like that's so weird. So she was out for a while. They calmed her down for like 20 minutes or whatever. Mm. We in a class or whatever, so he ended up coming in here. Mind you, the boy, the messy boy, he ended up going outside because he's he wanted to get every angle. He wanted to know what's going on. He ended up going outside. The girl, I mean, the trainer came back in there. He's talking to me. He like, Simone, are you okay to be in a class? Because we don't want to have to send somebody home early, but we could send you home early. Not to like end the whole program, but like just to go home for the day. So he was like, yeah, are you okay? I'm like, I'm good. She the one with the problem. She the one said she's sparing bitches. She the one standing up. She the one this. So he, they like, okay, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And I'm just laughing. I'm like, I'm, I'm smiling. I'm fine. Like, so he like, okay. Cause she come back in here. He's like, I just don't want you to provoke her. Cause she said she was going to beat your ass. <laughs> like and i just don't want her to come beat your ass i'm like why is everybody making it seem like i'm scared of judy just because i'll be up in here quiet or nice or laughing or reading in a country accent that doesn't mean i'm a scary bitch like i literally got beef with 17 million people when i go home and <laughs> i'm just trying to have a nice life here i'm like i'm not a fighter or whatever like that but if it come down to it then yeah we're gonna fight but why y'all acting like i'm scared of this girl what the fuck like i didn't start all this shit <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm like, I'm not scared of Judy. I'm like, if Judy want to fight, it is what it is. He's like, but you know, if y'all fight, then y'all have a physical fight and then y'all get kicked out. And I'm like, man, I really don't give a fuck. Like, but if she come up to me, I'm like, I'm not going to fight her. But like, if she come up to me to fight me, I'm not going to sit there and let her just fight me. I'm going to fight her. Like, we're going to fight. So he was like, oh, okay. Like, you know, just be calm. We're going to bring her back in. Right. So they bring her in. She don't say shit, whatever. And she just kind of like smirking. And I'd look over at her and I'm just like, whatever, I ain't finna get into this or whatever right so now <laughs> we in there and they start having some like she literally just came back into the class in the the trainer room they he was like okay we gonna start reading modules again we just gonna we need to just quiet it down here it's just too loud it's just too much going on so he was like okay so who want to read he was like and not you simone because <laughs> he know me reading bothers her so he was like and not you simone so i'll just start laughing i was like all right so he had somebody else read right while the person is reading why her phone we not even supposed to have phones in her but we did anyway and they didn't really like too much trip but yeah her phone started ringing loud clearly mind you her phone don't never ring loud like it'll probably vibrate or something like that because her phone would ring and she'll leave out and get on the phone with joe mind you yo man is in jail too Clearly, Joe is clearly like your man too or something like that. Because why is you walking out of your training session to talk on the phone with Joe? Anyway, so only how I would know is because when he kind of started like pillow talking, he was telling me or whatever like that. Mind you, at first, I didn't know who the fuck this girl's getting on the phone with. I didn't know. So anyway, um, we in there and her phone started ringing out loud. And she was all like, ooh, and her homegirl was like, the girl Johnny, she was like, who was that? She was like, girl, let me answer that. This is Joe. <laughs> the fuck? Girl, I don't care. The fuck? Like, I have a real life. Unlike you. you uh, anyway, so she was like, this is Joe. So she like smiled and she kind of looked at me. Maybe she didn't look at me. Maybe I was just at this point just really irritated because it was I'm mm, like now I'm more like peaceful. I don't have drama because I don't put myself in drama. I don't deal with as many friends that I did before that wasn't really my friends or I don't deal with so many situations so I don't really have drama like that so I don't really have situations where I gotta blow up and when I do I be like oh I'm not fucking with you no more because I don't want to take myself there but I was the type of person where once I get there I'm irritated forever and I that irritated me so bad when she did that y'all I ain't even gonna lie it irritated me because why is you look she didn't probably look at me she probably did not look at me but i was looking at her because her phone rang you gonna look over and see what's that like what's the noise so i looked at her and when she did that this is joe i gotta take this girl bye so anyway she ended up getting up and leaving out the leaving out so i'm sitting there i'm tapping my my um 
pen on the table. I have bad problems where I have to like hit stuff or like move my legs and stuff like that. And when I'm, I don't know, I just have it bad. So they thinking I'm irritated because of that, but I'm like, no, that's just literally, I, I just have a lot of like movement issues. I don't know, it's bad. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm sitting there and I'm just like tapping, like moving a lot. I'm kind of real restless. So I'm like, I'm about to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. So I took the trainer. I was like, I'm about to go to the bathroom. So he was like, Simone, no, you're not. Like, no, mm -mm, you're not about to go to the bathroom. Because literally she just walked out. So he like, you're not about to go to the bathroom. I was like, I'm going to the bathroom for real. And I'm just like fake trying to smile through my anger. Because I'm like, I'm so irritated. So he, I'm like, I'm for real. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm about to go to the bathroom. So he was like, Simone, if you're not back in here by and like five minutes, I'm going to come look for you. I'm like, okay, like I'll be right back. So I end up leaving out, y'all. I go in the bathroom. I don't hear nobody on the phone. So I go outside where everybody be out outside on break and stuff like that. Y'all, I see her. She on the phone, but she facing like, like I see her back and she like smoking a cigarette or whatever. So I walk up and I'm hearing her talk shit. I'm walking up quiet because why am I just walk up? Ringing bells. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have to use the bathroom. I really wanted to go see if she was gonna get on the phone and talk shit to this nigga. Which I would have known anyway because he was gonna come back and tell me. But I just wanted to see because I was just so irritated at that point. I don't know, that just, it irritated me so bad. So I hear her talking shit. Like really just talking like, da 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 like talking. So I know she's talking about the situation but I couldn't really hear her. Maybe I'm delusional. She could have been talking about how her nail polish didn't come out the color she wanted. I don't know but I'm assuming you talk about me because you got some anger to your voice. So... When I walked by, cause she didn't know I was coming up. So I was like, it tell that nigga I said hi. She kind of jumped cause she didn't see me walk. She kind of jumped. And she was like, uh -huh. and she was like, yeah, this her right here. This her right here. And she was like, he said he don't fuck with you. He said he don't fuck with you. I was like, I, don't nobody want to fuck with him anyway. Like, girl, ain't nobody worried about Joe. What the fuck? I'm like, that nigga literally come back and report everything to me. Bitch, you're weird. Da, 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 da. I'm talking shit. We kind of going back and forth. But she started laughing in my face. I was so annoyed. When I said I wanted to, like, just hit her because I was so irritated. I was like... But I'm like, damn, Simone, do you really want to lose the job? You really need this money. <laughs> but yeah, oh my God. And she was laughing. She just started walking away. And by this time, y'all, because we kind of arguing, the trainer, he walking up. Because I'm kind of going for a little bit. He, I'm walking up. He was like, Simone, didn't I tell you? <laughs> and I was just like, I just came outside for some air. He's like, I seen y'all talking. But she walk away laughing on the phone. Because she probably like, yeah. Got him. Girl, ain't nobody worried about him. I really wasn't worried about him, but I can't lie though. For a long time, I used to be like, care about what he thought about me and shit like that. I don't know why. Like, it was probably, I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. But yeah, so I was kind of just like irritated. Like, <sighs> probably you know what it was. It's probably because after that, well, no, I had dated somebody else. I had dated enemy and we had like a real relationship, but it was like, uh, and I felt, I don't know, Joe wasn't a good relationship, but it was like the longest relationship at that point in my life. He, so I don't know, I was still young, so I probably wasn't over it. And I was still kind of salty about how shit had played out and shit like that. And it wasn't that far off that we had stopped kind of, and we still communicated. So of course I'll still be in my feelings about certain shit. And it wasn't even about that her, she was talking to him. Cause I, that wasn't the issue. It was just the fact that it's like, I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. So anyway, he's talking to me. He's like, I thought I told you that. He's like, Simone, do, do you want to have to go home for the day? So I'm like, no, I don't want to go home today. I'm good. He was like, what was you saying to her? Why would you come follow her up? I'm like, I just asked her what was wrong. Like, why did she do all of that in class? And what's the issue? Like, I'm just trying to address it um, peacefully just between us and not around everybody else. So don't blow up. He was like, I just seen y'all cussing each other out. <laughs> and he was like, Simone, Judy is going to beat your ass. She said. <laughs> Y'all, the trainers used to be messy. He's like, Judy says she's going to beat your ass. She's not playing with you. I don't want you to provoke her. Mind you, why, <laughs> why do y'all think I'm just so scared of this girl? Like, So I'm like, man, well, Judy going to beat my ass to tell her to do it. Because at this point, you really irritated me. Like, the trainer, he irritated me. I'm like, man, whatever. Like, if, if that's what you're going to do, like, tell her to fucking do it then. So he like, Simone, you know what? I, it, I think it's best you go home for the rest of the day. I'm like, go home for the... Why the fuck would I go home for the rest of the day? He like, why is you cussing at me? Because I'm like, what the fuck? You, like, you putting it on me? I'm like, she the one started it. He was like, you started it. He was like, when you huffed and puffed, he's like, and it's behind a dude? Like, really, Simone? Really? Sir, you don't know me. Literally 90% of the beef I got outside this damn job is behind a nigga. What did you talk about? Don't look at me like this is some crazy shit to be happening. You don't know me. <laughs> what the fuck? So I'm just like, man, 
why would I go home? Like, that's so weird. He like, Simone, you just gonna go home for the day? He's like, I'm gonna send you and Janisha home for the day because Janisha is doing too much. We have to send her out the class. Like, we just gonna send y'all home for the day. I'm like, why don't y'all just send the friends home for the day? Janisha and Judy. Judy clearly gotta be on the phone with a nigga. He's like, Simone, see, you gotta, don't be letting that man get to you. If he picked Judy, <laughs> y'all, and I'm mad because I'm like, Judy ain't even the one he chose over me. But I'm like, it ain't even about that. Like, what the fuck? I'm like, not about him. Like, th these two different dudes. Judy's just a dumb bitch. <laughs> he was just like, look, Simone, <laughs> we're just gonna send you home for the day. He was like, because the way Judy, like, the way she walked off, I could tell she's really angry. This in her home. I was just so mad because they really just was thinking like, oh yeah, Simone, let's get you out of here to save you. Save me from what? So I was just so irritated. I ain't even gonna lie. But yeah, I ended up going back in there. Judy wasn't in there when I had went back in there. She wasn't went to go have her private conversation and talk shit in peace. But yeah, I'm like, Nene, I gotta go home. So she was like, why? And I'm like, and Nene was like, well, cause if she gotta go home, can I go home too? Because I've been, I've been acting bad too. Like, let me go home. So he like, nah, we gonna send Janisha home and stuff like that. And she was like, dang. I'm like, right. And we said like we ain't gonna see each other tomorrow. And I was like, it's all good. I'll be back, y'all. I'm like, tomorrow I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna read for y'all. Everybody in the class just laughing. Dang, why was I acting like that? Mm. But anyway, they just laughing or whatever. And I was so irritated. And when I was leaving out the class, like they escorted me to the elevator and shit like that. And I see Judy, she walking back like she finishing her call or whatever. I'm like, the fuck weird ass bitch. But I ain't saying that I just got on a stupid little elevator and I went home. I was so irritated. When Joe called me, I did not answer that phone that day. I answered the next day because I wanted to cuss him the fuck out. But I didn't answer that day because I'm like, oh, you don't fuck with me? Mm, okay. Mind you, we didn't even talk like that. That was the thing. But it's like, why are you trying to play and well maybe because she was putting giving him money and stuff i wasn't doing that so that's probably why he probably like girl what the fuck don't fuck this up with judy judy is giving me money but i don't know but why would you say i don't fuck with her literally you literally be calling me like you're mad having judy report stuff to me and it's like judy you a weirdo because even if this is a dude that you talking to too don't you think it's weird that he want to talk about me like, that's weird. Once a dude want to talk about the next bitch, we ain't talking. What do we got to talk about? Because you clearly want to talk to her. Go call her. What you going to call? Talk? We, no, that's weird. But I was so mad. But yeah, I did cuss him the fuck out. He was telling me like, yeah, Judy told me what happened. Blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, yeah, it's up with Judy. Every day now we got beef. Every day. Jay, I don't care if Judy sneezed and it sound like she said, fuck you. Like, fuck you. It sound like that. Bitch, what did you say, Judy? Judy, what, you playing with, yeah. we got beef forever, because yeah, what the fuck, but um, shit did get crazy though, <laughs> it got real crazy, but yeah, that's it for this story time or whatever, y'all, that whole call center was just a mess, that training, like I said, bad girls club every day, but yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all more stories about it because it was funny, and I'm like, I need to start telling my work story times because I could now. But anyway, that's it. Again, um, if you remember the, the story time, that what I titled it with the boy, because I want to tell story times about that situation too. Because, yeah. But y'all got to let me know. Because I, I don't... Maybe I might just change his name if nobody remember. Because I don't remember what I titled it. Hopefully, I'll find a video when I'm going through or whatever. But yeah. And then also let me know if y'all would be down for another event that I would be throwing. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.